It was when Mike Bell won the Sunoco shootout, won the race, and won the championship. I ended up third that year. There was 10 races. The team won six, and Mike was the champion. And so uh, things moved on, and I put Richie Stevens in one of my cars after Mike stepped out and went NHRA racing, and Richie had a very good uh, two years with us. And when we went with the Pro Stock trucks, he wanted to go NHRA Pro Stock. So I got him a sponsor and some people with a lot of money to take him. Um, we run the truck series for a while. I got him pro modified. Um, and then in 2010, I went to Super Stock to stock again. a TV show from Houston, Texas with the Mountain Motor Pro Stocks, John DeVorean won. Uh, I know John personally, he is building the car that I'm getting, Jerry, he, Jerry's for it. And um, I thought how great that was. What would that feeling be like again? Well, I'm finding out. Um, I talked to Mike Bell, which works in the shop. He's had a heart attack. Heart doctors cleared him. He's had two back surgeries, and they cleared him three weeks ago. And Jerry can later on tell you about the car, uh, how far along it is. Uh, I look at Mike Bell bringing him back as a driver, and I need a young driver. And I've known John Noble all through this race career that I've had, and his son Vincent. I watched him grow up. He's the kind of person I want in one of my cars. And so people say, why are you keeping this a, sort of a secret? Why are you don't you turn it loose? I've not gone to anybody except, except people that I've been very loyal to, such as John Cosey, Pat Norsha with Ram Clutches, Jerry Haas, Goodyear, and they know about it. Everybody is excited about me coming back. And even NHRA, I cause a lot of turmoil. I have fun. Uh, Richard Freeman, we talked yesterday. He said, if you're really doing this, I'm going to put a car together and lease it to somebody. Greg Anderson this week called me and said, we're going to be on one because we know what you're going to do. We're going to make it very competitive. John has to go to work now. Sonny Leonard has to go to work because when Richard Elite comes in and starts building power, they're going to have to keep up. Um, I give John a number to shoot for for our engine program. Uh, we bought a used engine and put everything new in it. It's sent there for 10 years. People say, well, how can you take a 10-year-old engine and make it competitive? They've not done anything in 10 years. This engine's already competitive, but we want more. And I guess I'm going to turn this over to Benson. He can tell you a little more about what's going on, the kind of parts it takes, the kind of stuff we've got ordered, and the stuff that's been coming in. First off, i got to thank Roy for giving me the phone call, you know, asking me to drive one of his race cars. Uh, been on the sidelines for a little bit this year, Naturally, itching to go racing because this is what I love to do. This is what my father loves to do. Been doing it my whole life. But uh, like Roy said, there's a lot that goes into these cars. You know, they're very similar to what I used to drive—a 500-inch car, but a whole lot more power, a whole lot more torque. Uh, naturally, you're allowed to run both kinds of transmissions, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be running the Lanco transmission. Um, as far as that goes, you know, you need a lot of parts, you need a lot of gear sets. Uh, we're going to be running a Ram clutch. Well, that's for sure. Um, obviously, John Kazi uh, engine, and uh, we're going to go from there. We're just going to make it all happen. I'm going to do my best to make stuff happen as well. But, you know, that's the that's, those are the main ingredients. Can you see me dealing with John Noble and Vincent? They come out of New York. What do you call them? They're Yankees. Long Island. <laughs> Jerry Hoss, you want to tell them where we stand with the cars? All right, Roy and I. We went to dinner here back in Charlotte and sort of made this deal all come true and uh, very 
grateful for Roy. I've known him all my life. And uh, anyway, I'm excited about Roy because we need Roy Hill back in the Mountain Motor Pro Stocks because that's what he made come big time of at World Championships. And uh, but anyway, I'm excited. We told me he's going to have John Cosie doing the engines. I said, wow, that's a big, big plus. And uh, Mike Bell's going to drive the one car, and uh, Vince Mobile is going to drive the other car, and Roy Hill's going to have an awesome, forceful team. He's not missing no punches. He's strictly going for the top, and that's the only way to approach this. And I'm just grateful to be involved, build his cars, and be a friend of Roy Hill, and all the people he's involved with, Pat Norsham, Ram Clutches, like I said, I'm very grateful, and for NHRA, the main thing is to accept these Mountain Motor Pro Stock cars over here. So I walk around out there in Houston and Charlotte, and I just sort of see what people, they seem like they like them a lot. I'm not knocking the other cars by no means, but we build a lot of belts. But the Mountain Motor Pro Stocks, you know, they got so much torque and stuff, they dangle the wheels out through there, and I think everybody's going to like him very, very much. Thank you, Roy. Questions from the media? I would like to say this right now. Elijah Morton raced back when I did, and he's here. Uh, as a backup plane, I talked to him today. He's got a spare car. And um, if we have to make a sudden move and uh, whatnot, we'll purchase a car from him. And I want everybody to know uh, I get along with the other racers, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing this. People say, why are you doing this? I'm 74 in October. Uh, am I going to drive? I'm going to get my license. I'll be a spare driver. No, but yeah, I've got more sense to do that. Building a team is the big thing. People say, where's the money coming from? I don't know yet. I'm using my own money. I cannot go out and sell something until I have something to sell. NHRA has given us a place to go out and create sponsors. This is not Little League, this is Major League Ball. And I think some of the people who's already been racing the last three or four races have come up with sponsors. I see them on the cars and they tell me they have. But that's what NHRA is doing, is giving us a chance. I uh, understand they are basically a guaranteed six races, possibly going to put eight together. I think we're all going to have to find sponsors to help pay the purse and have a good TV show. And so um, I guess if anybody wants to ask a question to any of us sitting here, uh, go for it. What's the feedback you've been getting from the fans as far as the, the class and about you, Vincent, being um, I'm getting a, a lot of good feedback, especially here at Bristol. You know, a lot of the fans uh, know Mountain Motor Pro Stock, where at other races they, they may not. You know, following NHRA, Mountain Motor Pro Stock hasn't you know, been around forever. But, um, you know, the fans seem to like it. They ask me what, you know, what I like better to drive. I, I really can't pick one. I like, I like both. They're both different. Uh, I, I can say it's been a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, I, I drove one of these cars. I tell the story to everybody. I think four, four or five years ago, I drove Larry O'Brien's uh, car in uh, Virginia. And uh, so I got in the car, you know, I was going to treat it like a NHRA Pro Stock car. I've had, you know, made many laps behind the, behind the wheel of an NHRA car. So, Got in the car, I was in the left lane. Uh, I dumped the clutch. You know, the thing was going a little bit right. And I said to myself, all right, I'm gonna wait on the shift light and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna plug second gear. The front end's gonna come down. I'm, I'm gonna bring it back over left. Well, that wasn't the case. I plugged second gear and the thing stood up and I had to lift and I was like, all right, I can't treat these cars like I, like I can a, a 500 inch car. So, you know, it's cool. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's a whole new animal. And uh, the fans do seem to like it. Uh, I guess once they come out more, I guess we'll really be able to tell what the fans like more. Uh, the mountain motor cars or the fire engine cars. Anyone else? What kind of feedback have you been getting? Roy, you Roy? Yeah. <laughs> if I told you the feedback and what helped me 
uh, make this decision. I'm going to tell you, uh, people, David Pearson, Cotton Owens, I'm going back a long ways. I knew all those people. I used to go down through Spartanburg and there's a Peach Blossom restaurant. I'm headed to Atlanta the week before, and there's a table down there all us old timers sit at. David Pearson's passed away, Cotton Owens is gone, Bud Moore's gone. And I go in and park out front on the lawn with my tractor trailer. And I recognized there were three men still sitting there at about 9.30. And they said, Roy, you got one of those mountain motor pro stalkers in that trailer? I said, no, but I sure wish I did. We just watched that on TV. I remember when you used to win with that. And so that had a lot to do with me going ahead and making this decision. Um, all I can tell you is the fans are so excited about NHRA having Mountain Motor Pro Stock, and they're excited about the 500-inch Pro Stocks. They're excited about Pro Modified. And Lord God, look what we have, Top Fuel and Funny Car. The potential that's here for NHRA to take the ball and run it on up the mountain here. We're up here on the mountain right now. And I want to be a part of it again. Uh, I know what it's like to be a team owner. Um, I know today or yesterday I won class. That's still a great feeling. I made it four rounds. And Roy Hill made a bad decision and got beat. Uh, I can still drive, but I don't need to drive a pro stock. But I still got, there's thousands of fans out here that pull for us. And years ago, I had a pro stock car, I had a racetrack, Rockingham Dragway, and I had a school. And so I could go out and market that and present it to a round clutches. I could present it to Goodyear. And they would jump on board and help Roy Hill because they got you know, more than $10 back. That's what they wanted. Uh, if they spent ten, if they spent a dollar, they wanted 10 back. And I produced that for them. And uh, today, it's gone up to about $25 they want back. But uh, I know how to give them back something and have something before I ask them for any money. All right, Roy, we appreciate your time. Thank you guys for coming up here, making the announcement. Good luck to you. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys out there in uh, 2020 in the Mountain Motor Pro Stocks. Thank you. We're going to have a lot of fun, too. I need you guys to help promote it. Thank you. <laughs>